Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the questions I see regularly, and I've got it a couple of times in the past week, is about the uh, UEFI firmware updates that are available for a lot of PCs. Uh, basically, your computer is based upon this. It's the code that is the basic code that does everything, including booting your system. And what happens is that code can be updated for several reasons. One of the things that can be done is fix bugs. Sometimes when a PC has a problem with hardware, um, a BIOS update in the past or UEFI update firmware today might fix the issue. It could be a bug within that code. And there's also security updates. Sometimes there could be a security flaw in the code and they fix it through these types of updates. And sometimes it's just to add new features and change things, a few things on the system. Now, the question that I get all the time is, should I you know, uh, update the UEFI firmware? I see some people telling me, well, my firmware updates is interesting are coming from Windows updates. In some cases they can, yes, definitely. Some PC vendors actually push the code through the Windows update. Uh, some vendors, they'll actually have a manual download of the code. So what you do is you go to your manufacturer's website and find your specific PC model number. Uh, and in there, you'll see that in the support pages and the downloads available, there's drivers, but there will also be UEFI firmware that are often executable files within Windows that will update the code and then restart your PC. So the main question is, should I update this if there's an update? Uh, it depends. You know what? I've never been a big, big fan of always updating things like the uh, BIOS or UFI firmware. Except look at the documentation with it. So often you'll see a UEFI firmware update and it's going to tell you what it does and what that update actually brings to the BIOS. If it's just, oh, you know, we changed a few things around and so on, but you have no issues, you could just leave it alone and, and continue using the same firmware you have. If it says in the documentation or if the company says we issued a UEFI firmware for security reasons, then I would stress that it probably is very important for you to do it. Um, I'd say that there's a lot of PCs that do it on their own. You don't even have anything to do. But there are a lot of PCs where it's manual. You got to do it yourself. In that case, well, uh, like I said, security, important. Uh, if it's bug fixes, it could be important because sometimes it could be a bug that affects you. Um, you know, I've seen a PC once uh, in an HP PC. Uh, that had blue screens regularly, and it was simply because the BIOS w had a bug and the hardware wasn't working right. Once that update was pushed, blue screens were gone. You know, when I say it, uh, blue screens on Windows 10, 11 are 99% of the time not Windows related, um, contrary to what a lot of people think. So, uh, you know, there are times when. Um, how about, yeah, but. When I see one, I do it. Is it dangerous? Technically, no. I mean, unless the power would go out right in the middle and technically maybe brick something. Um, and technically, no. I've, I've, for a long time, there's a lot of PCs I had that I would, I would update the uh, BIOS or the UEFI firmware when something new was available. And it was fine. I mean, I've never had any issues with that. But, you know, it doesn't mean... Problems can't happen, but it doesn't really happen very often. And we don't hear a lot of problems over time with the uh, you know computers breaking because they, uh, of UEFI or BIOS updates. So it's up to you, but for security, yes. If it's bug fixes, I think it's a good idea. If it's just general you know maintenance and shifting things around, um, it's up to you. And um, sometimes it's not a bad idea to be at the latest version of uh, the UEFI firmware for other reasons and purposes. Sometimes Windows might use a new feature that, if it's available in your UEFI firmware because of an update, uh, might make things better uh, or compatibility might be better. So, uh, but, you know, it's one of those things that um, 
for the most part, um, you know, I would bet that a lot of PCs out there are very old firmware that would have updates but never have been applied, and uh, they work fine. So, uh, like I said, kind of up to you at a certain point. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.